happy to welcome you all on this wonderful blessed day for our online learning i would like to appreciate all of you who have chosen this biomax group and welcome to our school welcome to our biomax class you will be learning biology in two different subjects botany and zoology botany consists of two volumes and zoology consists of two volumes all together you'll be writing your paper for 70 marks and you'll be getting 35 in botany and 35 is your mark for zoology so this is your uh, scoring list and your portions Biology consists of two volumes. The first volume has eight lessons, and the second volume has got seven lessons. We'll be doing those lessons one after the another, following the scheduled timetable. Once again, uh, my hearty welcome to all the bio botany students. This world is full of living matter and non-living matter. we call it as biotic and abiotic the biotic matter consists of all the living things starting from the micro sub microbes to the giant trees all these things comes under the living matter this living matter is further divided into basically two groups one is called the plantae and the animalae in our class we'll be discussing about the plantae varieties when we say plants you will be thinking only the shrubs herbs trees climbers they are not only the plants as you have learned in your lower classes we have bacteria we have protozoans we have fungi algae bryophytes pteridophytes all these makes the plant kingdom so in our first and second lesson we'll be discussing about each of this group in their hierarchical order it starts with the uh, virus then the bacteria then uh, bryophytes algae fungi bryophytes pteridophytes and finally the angiosperms so these things will be discussing one after the another and in today's class let's learn about the first organ this is neither considered as a plant nor an animal but it is a living entity let's move into the lesson come on children let's explore knowledge virus occupies the, the top most news in our today's life this virus is a biological puzzle it's it cannot be understood at all because sometimes it acts like a living organism with living characters and at the same time they also behave like a non living organism changing their structure in the crystalline form so sometimes they are active they multiply they have nucleic acids and they infect uh, living beings they show irritability all those things and they show as a living character at certain period of the time they become a crystal they don't perform any metabolic activities they become inactive so it's a biological puzzle which is really creating a lot of research for the scientist even our coronavirus too virus is a latin word the very old language of the world is latin in latin and greek we have got many important uh, re informations regarding the uh, discovery of many things and one such uh, thing would be virus so what is the meaning of this latin word virus it means poison so when a virus gets attacked with the other organism the very first thing they do is they infect the person creating damage to that person creating some kind of spoilage in them and finally leads them to death so virus is called mean virus means poison poison never leaves the person alive 
द अल्टीमेट एम ऑफ अ पॉइजन इज टू किल दैट पर्सन सिमिलरली वायरस हैव द हैबिट ऑफ डैमेजिंग द एंटायर टिश्यू सिस्टम लेट्स लुक इन टू सम ऑफ द कैरेक्टर्स ऑफ दिस वायरस इट इज अ सब माइक्रोस्कोपिक वी कैन व्यू दिस ओनली विद द हेल्प ऑफ द माइक्रोस्कोप even in that they are very very minute microorganisms which has very 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 lesser uh, uh, vision to be viewed so they are sub microscopic they are obligate intracellular parasite parasite means they live upon the other organism and cause damage to them intracellular is in between all the cells they will be going they are living intracellular parasites they get into the organism cause damage to the organism and finally kill the organism this is the second character of the virus third character virus are uh, having nucleic acid it has got two components in them virus has two main parts the outer protein coat and the center nucleic acid you will have the nucleic acid in the center and outer to that you will find the protein structures hanging on to it so this is the very unique character of the virus most of the virus all the virus will have the nucleic acid so the nucleic acid is like uh, if you take uh, uh, some diary uh, five stars inside the five star you will have the liquid chocolates inside and coated with the solid chocolate outside similarly the liquid chocolate inside the five star is the nucleic acid and the solid coat around the uh, five star is your protein coat so every virus will have a nucleic acid with a protein coat this is the third character so main three uh, appearance three characters we can find in a viruses they are sub microscopic obligate intracellular parasite and the third one is they have a nucleic acid which is surrounded by the protein coat w m stanley uh, born in 1904 and lived till 1971 this man is a great uh, scientist american scientist obtained crystalline protein sediment from infected tobacco juice in the year 1935 there is a plant tobacco plant this plant is infected with some organisms he doesn't know what it is so he made research on that uh, tobacco plant he extracted the juice from the tobacco plant he crystallized them and found out that it is a poisonous liquid and that poisonous liquid is called as the virus for this he was given the nobel praise and he was jointly awarded with uh, another person uh, that is uh, j h north pro so this is a man who introduced virus to all of us brought the light brought into light about the virus as we know virus is sub microscopic it is ultra microscopic particle smaller than the bacteria bacteria is the smallest organism but this is much smaller than the bacteria the size ranges from diameter of 20 to 300 nm that is 1 nm equal to 10 to the power minus 9 so in um, uh, meters it is very 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 minute uh, quantity bacteriophage measures about uh, uh, 10 to 100 uh, nanometer in size the size of tmv is under 300 in to 20 so they measure very 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 less in uh, size and a very important point to be noted that it is ultra microscopic and smaller than the bacterial cells let's uh, look into the shapes of virus they are of basically of three types cuboid symmetry helical symmetry influence uh, complex or atypical symmetry let's take the cuboidal symmetry you can find a picture there it is adenovirus which is hexagonal in shape but it is uh, cuboidal if you see in a three dimensional it has got the center dna dna is nothing but the nucleic acid which is present in the center and it is surrounded by a protein coat so this structure the cuboidal it shows a cuboidal symmetry and the example is adenovirus the second type is 
Helical symmetry example influenza virus or TMV. Let's take TMV. This is called tobacco mosaic virus. This virus caused infection in tobacco with patches on the plant. Therefore, it is called tobacco mosaic virus. You can find a brown color bead surrounding on the top which is nucleic acid and the yellow color thing is called the protein. We call it as capsid. So, RNA is surrounded by the protein capsid. The third one is called complex or atypical type shape here the example is bacteriophage and uh, vaccina virus this uh, has both the helical and the cuboidal if you see the top region it is a cuboidal in structure the head the dna and collar and the lower region if you see it is helical so it's a combination of two therefore called the complex virus as I have uh, started the lesson by saying virus is a biological parcel having both living characters and non-living characters. Let us look into various uh, living character of a virus. They have the nucleic acid and protein. They are capable of uh, mutation. They can multiply within living cells. They infect and cause disease, show irritability and host specific. So they do not grow in every organism. They are very specific with the host. And when they enter into an organism, they show some kind of changes in them, which we call it as the irritability. And very important is virus have the character of infecting and causing disease. So these are the living character. Now let us move to the non-living part of the virus. Virus can be crystallized. They can be made into solid pieces. So the living cell, which is uh, uh, supposed to live, it is going to be crystallized. Absence of metabolism, they do not perform any function. They are inactive outside the only functions. That is, they are absent. They show an inactive in their metabolism. Physiological process does not take place in them. And they are inactive outside the host. When they come out of the living organisms, they cannot do their functions. And the energy producing enzyme system is completely absent. These are the characteristics of the non-living part of the virus. Uh, Let us learn now. Uh, the structure of an important virus that is TMV. TMV structure is just shown in the picture. You found two regions, one is orange color, the other one is yellow color. Meanwhile, you look into the video of how they are doing it, but let me explain about TMV. TMV is a, a tobacco mosaic virus. It was discovered in 1892 by Dimitri Ivansky from the tobacco plant okay the tobacco plant leaf which was supposed to be green in color showed some patches on it the greenness was not completely on the leaf it had some sprinklings like light yellow light white patches were there and they called those patches as the mosaic okay in your house you will be having tiles mosaic before tiles there were mosaic floors where you will find stones spilled over everywhere so similarly this leaf has got some uh, uh, patches on it therefore it is called tobacco mosaic virus this virus infected the plant and it caused discoloration of the leaf discoloration is the color of the leaf has been changed what is the color it is green in color but here when it has infected the plant the green color will not be there you will show typical yellow and green melting which is in the mosaic symptom the downward curling the leaf also falls droop down it faces downward and the, the leaf first starts to dry up and the growth is stopped so this is a symptom of the disease in the tobacco and they found out it is because of the virus called the tobacco mosaic virus what is the structure of this virus as i have shown in a picture do you remember it looked like a banana bunch okay the bunch of banana or grapes like bunch. so that is the structure of a tobacco mosaic we will see what is it in the technical term okay it is a rod shaped it is a helical virus and its molecular weight is 39 into 10 to the power 6 dalton and this virus consists a TMV consists of the central RNA molecule and it is surrounded by the protein. The protein is called as capsid. This capsid has 
each single unit you can see that orange color bead like structure joined see this is just a model to explain to you see that the orange color structure is called the nucleic acid rna this rna is continuous all through the virus and to this rna proteins are hung they are connected bunches like which is called the capsid and each bunch is called the capsomia which are present in the central single stranded rna this is the structure of tmv let's look into another important virus the name of this virus is called bacteriophage the very name says that it is a virus which lives on the bacteria therefore it is called as bacteriophage this bacteriophage is a complex virus because if you look into its structure the yellow color part is called the head and the blue color cylindrical tube is called the tail so head is of cuboidal in structure and the long uh, uh, tail is in a uh, helical structure so they have a combination of both cuboidal and the helical therefore it is called as a complex structure now let's take the head part of the virus the head is yellow in color inside that yellow you can find a red color curve like structure that red color part is a nucleic acid it may be dna or rna but here it is a dna nucleic structure this nucleic structure is surrounded by a yellow color which we call as the protein so it has got protein covering as we told you earlier always virus will have a nucleic acid surrounded by the protein covering similarly the head is consisting of dna which is surrounded by a protein covering you can see in the part head dna now this head is joined with the tail through a st structure called the collar then next to the collar you find a long tube like structure which is called the tail the tail ends with another pink structure which is called the basal plate this is a region which gets fixed with the bacteria you have to understand it very clearly then only you'll be able to do the remaining learning and on this basal plate you got many tail fibers for attaching into the host this is a structure of your t4 bacteriophage uh, let's uh, look into the multiplication or life cycle of the phages phages is nothing but the virus phages multiply through two different types of life cycle one is the lytic the other one is lysogenic the lytic cycle is a relevant type a uh, lysogenic is a relevant type of life cycle so there are two types of life cycle one is the lytic one the other one is lysogenic life cycle so we'll discuss about what happens in a lytic cycle in other following steps lytic cycle occurs in a virus very systematically let's discuss the lytic cycle the lytic cycle which is also known as a relevant phase the disintegration of the host bacterial cell occurs they completely damage the bacterial cell bacterial cell cannot survive after uh, the release of the prophage so in lytic cycle the host is damaged and the one which comes out is called the progeny virions so progeny virions are formed from the bacterial cell and this is involved in six steps we shall learn the six steps now the first step is adsorption second penetration third synthesis fourth assembly and maturation and fifth step is release so we'll discuss all these five steps one after the another let's start with adsorption what happens is i we have discussed about the t4 bacteriophage structure it has got head tail and the basal plate 
that basal plate comes and stucks on the bacteria yellow color region is the bacteria brown color region is the virus the name of the virus is bacteriophage why it is called bacteriophage is that because it infects the bacteria so this virus back named bacteriophage comes and sits on the bacteria bacteria mela and it will come and sit down so that yellow color is a bacterial cell having the bacterial genome bacterial dna the second stage what happens is it is penetration the bacteriophage the brown color virus bacteriophage will inject to the nucleic acid we call this virus as phage appo adukulla irukkakudiya the dna is called the phage dna now the phage dna blue color is inserted into the bacteria third step is synthesis what happens is the dna of the bacteria and the dna of the virus is present there now this dna blue color dna after entering inside forms the various parts of the bacterial phage and then parts what are the parts we saw we saw the head we saw the tail we saw the tail platelets and the dna inside it in this picture you can find uh, three to four tails uh, three to four five tail plates four heads are there and the nucleic acid is there the synthesizing takes place in the next step all these synthesized part they get assembled they get assembled to form the bacteriophage you can see two bacteriophages have been assembled and two more are yet to be assembled they are in the process of getting joined together so this is what happens in the assembly stage after assembly they undergo maturity maturization takes place that is the fifth step okay maturization in the form the nucleic acid the dna content inside will be well sufficient to coat the thing once when it is ready the release of the prophage takes place you can see the bacterial wall ruptures the bacterial wall opens up and the bacteriophage that is a virus they comes out of the bacterial cell and it is allowed for the infection this multiplication is called the lytic cycle involving 5 to 6 steps and at the end you can find the progeny coming out but the bacterial cell is dead uh, as i have mentioned you there are two types of cycle one is lytic the other one is lysogenic let's look into the lysogenic cycle in lysogenic cycle the phage the phage is nothing but the virus the virus dna gets integrated with the host dna so here the host is the bacteria the bacterial dna and the virus dna they both join together that is a very important event taking place but in the previous one in the lytic cycle it's not like that you can see the bacteriophage the virus sitting on the bacteria and that blue color nucleic acid is entering into the bacteria and that blue color is forming into circular dna that blue color uh, circular dna of the virus and the purple color dna of the bacteria both are joined together to form the prophage this prophage in this uh, combined combined dna they undergo binary fission and the reproduction of the bacterial cell takes place so here you find the very important point to be concerned is the fusion of the viral dna with the bacterial dna takes place and there is no damage for the bacteria bacteria is not killed it is present there for all the time it, it survives after the multiplication it survives as soon as the phage injects the uh, linear dna into the host cell it becomes circular and integrates into the bacterial chromosome this combination is called the prophage i'll be asking you the question what is a prophage the activity of the prophage gene is repressed by two repressor proteins which are synthesized by phage gene this checks the synthesis of new phages within the host cell however each time the bacterial cell divides the prophage multiplies along with the bacterial chromosome that's more important 
on exposure to uv radiation the chemicals of the phage dna may occur and result in the lytic cycle so here the virus the bacteriophage doesn't enter inside at all there is no multiplication of the bacteriophage inside but uh, it is kept out of the bacterial cell only the nucleic acid combines and now this nucleic acid divides along with the bacterial cell and results in the formation of many copies of the bacteriophage this type of cycle is called the lytic cycle i hope children you would have understood the difference between lytic and lysogenic lytic cycle consists of six steps where the bacterial cell is completely damaged whereas in lysogenic cycle it is not damaged bacteria is there let's look into the various diseases caused by virus viral diseases it takes place in plants animals and in human first we'll start with the human diseases okay common cold hepatitis b cancer SARS severe acute respiratory syndrome AIDS acquired immunodeficiency syndrome rabies mumps polio and to this list chikungunya smallpox uh, chickenpox measles and can you tell the 13th disease caused by the virus i give it to you as an homework so name the 13th disease caused by the animal uh, so virus in human uh, body and these are the diseases in uh, animals foot and mouth disease of cattle rabies of a dog encephalomyelitis of horse disease caused in animals animal diseases Let's move to the plant disease: tobacco mosaic, cauliflower mosaic, sugarcane mosaic, potato leaf roll, bunch top of banana, leaf curl of papaya, vein clearing of lady's finger, rice tongue disease, cucumber mosaic, and tobacco mosaic diseases. These are the various diseases caused by the virus. Virus is really infectious. so we have to be very careful with this viral diseases and to prevent this disease certain measures are taken by the researchers oh you have watched the lesson link children and now it's question answer time i believe you all have uh, your uh, class work notebooks put a separate notebook for your class work prepare an index the index should consist of date the lesson number content teacher sign so make a column in your index write today's date and start with lesson 1 the living world and in that first lesson the first topic you give it as a virus so one after the another next class will be going on with bacteria then uh, algae fungi so you can put b c d like that so first we'll start with virus put a and let me give you a few questions i want you to write the answers in your class work notebook read the question understand the question at the link every link you'll be given a pdf book pdf material go through that pdf material find out the answers for those questions that i'm giving you mark it up read again then check it up with me then write it in your notebook children my humble request to you is never use the marketed guide marketed guide was not good for your learning you are not learning you are exploring knowledge so try to refer the textbook mark the answers and then write it in the notebook you are in 11th standard but the questions will be very very simple you will be having two mark questions three mark questions and five mark questions everything you will be writing in points Two mark consists of two to three points. Four, three mark consists of three to four points, and five mark consists of five points or six points. That's it. So don't complicate your lesson. So read the content and try to answer it. And for today's assignment, I'm going to give you only diagrams. I want you to draw four diagrams. You can look into that uh, link assignment. Draw the diagram in your class work notebook, putting the date and mentioning it as assignment one. so draw it neatly no overshading 
no darkening nothing draw a simple neat diagram and uh, try learn to draw it uh, very fast that's more important you should not give much time for drawing in your exams all the best children we'll meet in our next uh, class share your uh, feedback and clear clarify your doubts if you have any still then stay safe be blessed